name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, tonight we begin the Paschal Triduum, the Passion, Death, and Resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. On this most solemn hour, Jesus left us a memorial of two symbolic gestures of his love for us, the giving of his own body and blood in the form of bread and wine, and his act of washing the feet of his disciples. These two remind us that the supreme act of love is manifested through total self-giving of oneself for the beloved, just as what Jesus did when he freely offered his life on the cross for our sake, and to challenge us to strip away our clothes of self-entitlement, honors, and pride, and to serve one another out of love for each other and out of love for God. And so as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the Church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb one apiece for each household if a family is too small for a whole lamb it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it the lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month, and then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand, you shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night, I will go through Egypt striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Communion with the blood. 
in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bond. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it, and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also, the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. commandment says the Lord love one another as I have loved you The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So, during supper, Fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with a towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason, he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to, want to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as, as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. Be seated. Reverend Father. Marion Bayaras, our Cathedral Administrator, Brother Priests, Reverend Deacons, Brothers and Sisters in the Consecrated Life, Seminarians, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I consider it as a great blessing to celebrate this evening Mass of the Lord's Supper, 
with all of you. Thank you for coming to the Manila Cathedral, the mother church of our country. Nakakatuwang makita na punong-puno ang ating katedral at hanggang diyan sa labas ay marami ring tao. Salamat sa Diyos dahil pagkatapos ng tatlong taon na nagdiwang tayo ng mahal na araw na maraming restrictions dahil sa pandemya. Ngayon, bagamat kailangan pa din ng pag-iingat, ay malaya na tayong nagkakapagtipon, nakakapunta sa mga simbahan para magbisita iglesia, maka nakakaprosesyon at nagagawa ang ating mga tradisyonal na gawain kapag mahal na araw. My dear brothers and sisters, tonight the Church solemnly enters into the sacred Paschal Triduum of the Passion, Death, and Resurrection of the Lord. With the celebration of this Mass, we enter into the most solemn days of the year. Tonight is the beginning of great things, of great realities, of great mysteries that brought about our salvation and the salvation of the whole world. Sa gabing ito, ginugunita natin ang huling hapunan ni Jesus kasama ang kanyang mga alagad at maraming nangyari sa hapunan na ito. Hindi lamang ito pangkaraniwang hapunang pangpaskwa katulad ng isinalarawan sa ating unang pagbasa ngayon. Sa gabing ito, ibinibigay ni Jesus ang kanyang sariling katawan at dugo sa anyo ng tinapay at alak katulad ng inilahad ni San Pablo sa ating ikalawang pagbasa. Sa gabing ito, hinugasan ni Jesus ang paa ng kanyang mga lagad katulad ng narinig natin sa Ibanghelyo. Sa gabing ito, naghabilin si Jesus sa kanyang mga lagad at nanalangin siya para sa kanila. The opening lines of our gospel tonight explains to us the reason why Jesus did all this. Jesus knew that His hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved His own in the world, and He loved them to the end. Maganda ang translation nito sa Filipino. Alam ni Jesus na dumating na ang panahon ng kanyang paglisan sa sanlibutang ito upang bumalik sa Ama. Mahal niya ang kanyang mga tagasunod na nasa sanlibutan at ngayoy ipakikita niya kung hanggang saan ang kanyang pag-ibig sa kanila. On this night, Jesus shows the extent of His love for His disciples and for all of us. That is why He washed their feet. That is why He gave us His body and blood. Jesus loves us to that extent. And Jesus is not afraid to show the extent of His love. Sa paghuhugas ng paa ng Kanyang mga alagad at sa pagbibigay ng Kanyang sarili bilang pagkain at inumin, ipinakita ni Jesus sa atin kung hanggang saan 
ang kanyang pag-ibig at hindi siya natakot na ipakita ang kanyang pag-ibig sa atin. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus gives us an example to follow. Like Jesus, let us show our love not only through words, not only through emotions, but also through our deeds. Ang pag-ibig ay hindi lamang salita. Ang pag-ibig ay hindi lamang pakiramdam. Ang tunay na pag-ibig ay ipinapakita sa gawa. Ang pag-ibig ay hindi lamang naririnig o nararamdaman. Ang pag-ibig ay ipinapakita katulad ng ginawa ni Jesus. Kaya huwag kayong bastang maniniwala sa mga taong nagsasabing mahal kita pero hanggang salita lang. Huwag kayong magpapaloko sa mga matatamis na salita o nakakakilig na pakiramdam. Hanapan ninyo ng gawa because true love is seen in deeds. Let us also not be afraid to show our love for God and for others. Huwag tayong matakot at huwag nating ikahiya na ipakita ang ating pag-ibig sa ating pamilya, sa mga mag-asawa, sa magkakapatid, sa mga magkakamag-anak, ipinapakita pa ba ninyo ang inyong pagmamahal at malasakit sa isa't isa? Do you still exert effort to show your love? Or do you simply presume that they know that you love them? Huwag tayong matakot at huwag nating ikahiya na ipakita ang ating pag-ibig sa ating kapwa-tao sa pamamagitan ng pagdamay at pakikilakbay sa kanila. Sa gabing ito, puhugasan natin ang mga paa ng mga kapatid natin mula sa iba't ibang sektor ng ating lipunan na nangangailangan ng ating atensyon, pagmamalasakit at katiyakang hindi sila nag-iisa sa kanilang paglalakbay sa buhay. May kalesa driver, may jeepney driver, at ang kas driver. May magsasaka, may kapatid tayong dumagat, may doktor, may media practitioner, may nanunungkulan sa pamahalaan, may pari at madreng nagmimisyon. Sa pamamagitan nila, nais nating ipakita na buhay ang diwa ng sinudality. Walang naiiwan, walang naglalakbay na mag-isa. Lahat tayo'y magkakasama. Huwag din tayong matakot at huwag nating ikahiya na ipakita ang pagmamahal natin sa ating bayang Pilipinas sa pamamagitan ng pagiging mabuti, matuwid, at tapat na mamamayan. At lalong huwag tayong matakot at huwag nating ikahiya na ipakita ang ating pananampalataya at pag-ibig sa Diyos. Do not be afraid to show how much you love God. Do not be ashamed to express your faith in God. My dear brothers and sisters, tonight 
and for the next three days. Jesus will show us the extent of his love. Jesus will not speak much. He will be silent most of the time. But in silence, He will show us the magnitude of His love. A love that made Him stoop down to wash the feet of His disciples. A love that made Him offer His body and blood to be our food and drink. A love that made Him endure the mockery and contempt of the people, a love that made him embrace and carry the cross, a love that made him die on the cross, and a love that brought him to the glory of the resurrection. Jesus shows us the extent of his love. Let us always show our love. Let, not, let us not be afraid to show how much we love Jesus by loving each other. Amen.
please then. Brothers and sisters, together with Christ who gathers us to worship at the table of His Word and Sacrament, let us lift up to God our Father our petitions, and let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole Church, that our celebration of the sacred Paschal Triduum may lead us to a deeper relationship and a closer following of Christ, who offers himself for our sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops, priests, and deacons, and all who lead and serve the Christian community, that they may follow Christ's example of humble service and selfless offering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern all people, that they may work for the common good and serve the needs of all, and especially those who have less in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in need, that through the love of God and those who believe in God, the hungry may be fed, the sick may be healed, the grieving may be consoled, the oppressed may be set free, and the dying may be at peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Christian community, that the Eucharist may truly be the source and summit of all our good works and Christian living, and may it be a source of unity and a constant reminder of Christ's command to love one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, your Son gathers us as a table in remembrance of his de death and resurrection to partake of his body and blood. By the merits of your Son's sacrifice, hear the prayer of your people and grant us what we ask of you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Our collection in this evening's Mass will be given to the charitable projects for the poor of the Archdiocese of Manila.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer Himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as His memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard unite and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, and all those who holding to the truth hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, 
Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas, and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you as we observe the day on which our Lord Jesus Christ handed on the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen through Christ our Lord. Be pleased to God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer for our salvation and the salvation of all, that is today, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious resurrect ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice 
a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angels to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the steep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please all kneel.
we will now sing the Tantum Ergo. Let us all kneel. Sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Most precious Lord Jesus, this night you gathered with your apostles to share with them your last meal. But this was no ordinary meal. This was the gift of your most sacred body and blood, soon to be broken and poured out on the cross, for the salvation of the world. After the meal, you invited your apostles to join you in the garden to stay awake and keep vigil as you prepared for your arrest. The apostles fell asleep, leaving you in your bitter agony alone. We accept your gentle invitation of love, dear Lord, to spend this night in vigil with you. Allow us to spend this night in prayer and meditation with you. Lord, when we face the crosses of our own life, give us your divine courage and strength to say yes to the will of the Father. Your love for us is abundant and is perfect in every way. Help us to know that love, to embrace it, and to allow it into our life. We make our vigil with you this night, dear Lord. We love you. Help us to love you with all our heart. Jesus, we trust in you. Amen.